Hello and welcome to Professor Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build this beautiful online shop using Woodmark theme. And uh, this is a premium theme, but you don't have to worry about purchasing the theme right away because uh, all of these features will be available free after you watch this video. But if you do want to uh, purchase the license and want the future updates, then you have to go to uh, Theme Forest, purchase this theme and add the license code to this website, uh, which I am just showing you and uh, your theme will be activated. You do not have to download again from the Theme Forest, just the license key. But if you uh, do not want to purchase the license, but uh, also want this website, then watch this video till end and you will be able to uh, download and install this complete website for uh, absolutely free. So first of all, uh, you can see this demo have uh, the banner section, some uh, offer and some categories. And then you can see in the menu, you have the categories, the main categories. And in the main categories, you can see the MacBook, the business, the gaming laptops. These things are the sub menus. And if you scroll down on the home page, you can see there are some categories listed. This website is actually uh, a multiple products website where you can see we have all types of electronics like headsets, motherboards, Apple MacBook, Apple iPads, uh, drones, mirrorless and iPhone. Uh, similarly, if you scroll down, there is a featured list, the best offers uh, for the products. This is also uh, possible using the backend. Uh, you can choose the products which one to show in this section. And there is another part where you can see uh, a banner, a buy now button, and some featured products. Then another offer, and some featured products according to reviews. Then another section. Uh, actually, this uh, this website have very uh, few products. That is why they are repeating in each section. But once you have uh, about a hundred products or even a thousand products, then they will automatically be populated in each of these sections. And finally, you can see the footer. There are a couple of menus and the buttons, then the social media links, and finally the footer. So uh, th in this video, uh, you will finally learn how to add all these things for absolutely free. So the first step you have, you need to have is uh, a WordPress installation on your domain and hosting. Uh, I have this empty website. Uh, this is called demo 2 slash WP admin, which is my dashboard. If you come to the front end, you can see this, this is a completely empty website. So uh, you have to download a file, uh, but first let's install a plugin go to plugins click on add new and search for all in one migrate here all in one migrate and press enter install this one you can see the icon click on install now activate the plugin and you will have a menu here uh, so you can import a file click on import and uh, let's see from where you can download the file uh, to be imported to this website now uh, the, the link will be in the description of this video but uh, you can also go directly by typing self study help.com press enter and Click here, search for online shop, press enter. Yeah, demo for online shop. No, not this one. Let's see. Just type shop. Okay, we have online store in 10 minutes with Woodmart. Click here. You can also uh, directly go to this post by uh, clicking the link in my video's description, but 
let's go from here uh, in step 4 you can see this uh, download button okay click on download and save the zip file uh, anywhere on your desktop or in any folder let me save it on my desktop and uh, once I have uh, downloaded this CSV uh, sorry this zip file I'll extract it this will take a couple of minutes to download completely uh, it's just about 60 MB file so uh, it depends on your internet connection mine is not too good okay once uh, you downloaded the file just open the folder let me close this tab uh, open folder and it will locate the file it is in zip format right click and extract it if you are using Mac then you can choose whatever it allows okay this is the file by with the extension of WPress which is actually the all-in-one migrate format so come to the dashboard now for uh, for the one where we are installing it and in import just click here and click on file again uh, you have to click on all-in-one migrate and then click on import and then uh, the file come here on the desktop and look for demo one yes this is the one which is WPress extension open it uh, your file exceeds maximum upload size so uh, this can happen on your website as well and you might think that uh, how a 60 megabyte file is uh, greater than 128 uh, it is because that was in zip format but if you unzip the file uh, you can see this is now greater than which is 258 MB so uh, let me show you how you can increase the file limit for your WordPress just go to plugins click on add new so uh, for increasing limits let's try some keywords here uh, let's type um, I think limit or PHP limit or limit PHP let's see if it gives us limit less than one no memory user limit PHP server memory health no upload size uh, I think max upload size will be increase maximum upload file size yeah this one so click here install now and once you install it uh, just go to the settings page activate the plugin and go to the settings page of this max upload size plugin and uh, uh, choose the maximum upload file size to 512 our website is 256 so that should work and after setting up the limit go to all-in-one migrate again click on import and you can see it's now 512 MB so click on file let's search for demo one here's the file open it and it will start importing so uh, I'm pausing this video to skip this uh, upload progress uh, so that you can watch exactly what you have to watch so let's stop it okay I stopped the video and it took about uh, eight to nine minutes for me uh, as my internet connection is uh, very slow uh, for you it might take about uh, two to three seconds if you have more than four megabytes per second speed so uh, after this step it will ask you to overwrite the whole database as my current website is empty and I'll uh, replace all these contents uh, on my website I will proceed with this and uh, when it asks to proceed to overwrite all your existing media or files then click on proceed there is also uh, another thing I want to mention here uh, once this website is loaded to your new domain 
then uh, your existing uh, WP admin username and password will not work and uh, there will be a new username and password which will be admin for username and admin for password as well uh, both in small letters and uh, after this is done if you close this if you refresh the page refresh the website then you can see that uh, your username and password will not work so if I log in here it will say okay it's it's still working but uh, if if you do not if you do not have uh, the login credentials yet then you can just type admin and admin for password as well click on login and uh, there you are now you can go to the users and change your username and password and let's see uh, how your front end looks like if you refresh then uh, you will see that the exact same website which I showed you in the start of the video will be on your new domain you can see it's demo2 which was uh, the domain we were installing our website on but uh, the previous one which I showed you which was demo1 okay so you can see that these two are exactly identical except for this one is logged in and this one is not but you can see this is the same website now if you go to the product the single product page or the shopping cart or the checkout page all they are uh, beautiful templates and then you can customize your logo you can add these categories of your own you can add your own products assign them the categories you can add these offers uh, by yourself all these pages are built with elementor and these are the premium elements uh, come with this theme this wordmark theme uh, you can have all of them uh, if you want to purchase this theme and activate it uh, you can go to this theme setting uh, I think it's wordmark and theme license so uh, if you have uh, the license key from theme forest or from Invato you can add it here and you can activate it so you can get the updates the future updates as well as uh, the security mails so uh, this was all for today's video I hope you learned something uh, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you